the morning. So I came back from Sun and Fun this week and uh, right away started on uh, recovering my left wing on the pacer. Um, yesterday was Saturday, I had a couple of friends over and we pulled the wing. Um, so it's now how it looks. So here's the pacer without the wing. And uh, the wing is on its rotisserie already. And uh, so I mean, got the cover off yesterday. Came actually off uh, extremely easy, um, which I was surprised. Um, so I was thinking that, especially on the leading edge, um, where the fabric was glued, supposedly glued, um, there would have been much more. Um, of an issue trying to get the the cover off the uh, old fabric off but it's uh, came off very easy and uh, um, so far the wing inside looks very good um, I was uh, afraid I would find some broken ribs and damaged ribs uh, but there is one uh, big surprise uh, and that is the my outboard fuel tank so um, it has surprisingly a lot of corrosion on it. Um, the, the original tanks, the uh, factory tanks here, uh, they're aluminum, but the Stoddard tanks that I have in uh, 11 gallon in each wing, they're steel, and there must have been uh, water getting between the fabric and the actual tank, and was sitting there probably, and then uh, started corroding. So I have a friend who is a master welder. Um, so I, I need to talk to my mechanic also tomorrow. Um, but I'm thinking about replacing the whole top. Um, so rather than just sanding it and priming it and painting it. Uh, so, but other than that, uh, so today is more cleanup. Um, still have to take the fabric off the butt rib. Uh, I was also afraid that I need a new battery, but uh, it looks very good condition, so everything is fine. Um, like I said, just some cleanup. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, of course, I have the uh, droop wing tips on my pacer here, and um, so I didn't know how they were mounted until I yesterday uh, took the fabric off. And the way that it's actually mounted, uh, the, of course, the spa, uh, I think, was extended um, right here. And there is a wooden rib here at the very end. And when I start peeling the, the fabric back, so it shows that the, uh, the fabric of the wing actually goes under the the uh, wing tip and then the wing tip sits on top and is screwed on so um, today or in the next couple of days I will take the screws out and then take the wing tip off so then I can recover the whole wing and after it's recovered uh, of course before painting then I put the wing tip back on and finishing tape over it just like it's right now um, and then the wing tip gets painted together with the wing so uh, but other than that, again, it looks pretty straightforward. Just uh, going to do some cleaning up. Uh, there is uh, a lot of, I found this mud, I think called mud dubbers or whatever you call them. Um, I found quite a few uh, of their stuff in the wing, so I'm cleaning all that up. Um, but then I think after the, uh, the output tank is fixed, and then metal parts, uh, I probably take off and uh, prime them, paint them, um, can put them back on. And I will be hopefully recovering the wing soon. So the bottom of the main tank is uh, really collected some uh, yeah, dirt and whatever, um, maybe fuel and stuff. Uh, so. With a little scotch bright pad and uh, some simple green, it seems to come come right off. Um, just a little bit 
elbow grease and uh, I can clean this all up here. So that's going to be a lot of work. Um, basically, just probably a day or so, just cleaning up the wing, getting all this stuff off that has accumulated since 1986 when the airplane was recovered the last time. So after a couple hours of cleaning, so got the bottom of the fuel tank pretty much cleaned up. Um, I still have to take uh, the screws out here. Um, instead of stitching, um, whoever covered last time, they used the uh, PK screws for the fabric. So I still have to take all those out. Um, cleaned everything around here. Um, so then there was a lot of cleaning also on the top of the, of the wing. Um, and it sounds like there's something in and I think the outboard fuel tank, every time I rotate the wing, I, I hear things moving around. Um, so, but anyway, so I got this tank pretty much cleaned up. Um, so that's all nice. Uh, here on the trailing edge behind the tank, um, there was a lot of glue on it, uh, but that all, all taken care of. So that's all off. Um, and then for the top of the outboard tank, uh, I sanded quite a bit uh, to see how, how deep the pitting is. So tomorrow when my um, mechanic comes, uh, we can together evaluate uh, and see what it will take to repair. Um, but I'm still tending to actually replace the whole top. I think it's the best thing to do at this point. So, but I don't want to lose my, ex my extra tanks. Uh, I love the extra tanks. Uh, so anyhow, so time for lunch. Then I come back and probably start taking the, PK, uh, the screws out at the bottom of the wing. So today is, uh, I just talked to my mechanic and uh, especially about the fuel tank, uh, the corrosion on the top. So they want this in their shop to take a good look at it. Um, so first thing this morning, I'm going to take this out. Uh, should come out pretty easy, uh, famous last words. Uh, there's one bolt here on the front spar and one bolt here on the rear spar and then uh, there's just two drag wires that go through the tank here and uh, uh, then the fuel send has to come out so it's right there and then there's one fuel fitting in the front and one in the back and then the tank should be able to come out. Uh, so that's the task for now. So, this is actually not too bad, maybe an hour or so, and the fuel tank is out. So now I'm going to bring it over to the shop and we're going to look at the corrosion. Actually, when I talked to the shop this morning, they said it probably can even be just a, a zinc chromated. Um, but we'll see. I am not that that much of an expert, so they can take a look and maybe can just uh, maybe I call it early enough. So this is how my wing looks now with uh, an empty bay here where the fuel tank used to sit. So, but it was a good hour. So now after the wing tank has uh, come out, next thing is uh, I need to take the, um, the wing tip off. Um, it's still on here. Um, it's not too much of a task. But uh, because the way this, uh, this wing tip um, goes on after the wing is covered <clears throat> and I didn't know that until just when I took this off but the fabric here goes, goes under the wing tip and is uh, attached to the last rib here then the wing tip goes back on and the finishing tape goes over it 
and then the air pin is painted. So first thing now, I have to take this thing off so I can take the remaining fabric off. And yeah, just keep on working, getting my ring recovered. So, ring tip is off. Just a lot of screws. But here it is. So now here it shows uh, how the the fabric actually goes around the, the last rib here. And then uh, just the test for the last rib. So I have to do this first when I recover the ring. And then the wing, the wing tip comes goes back on. So pretty straightforward. Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's the uh, 19th of April today, but uh, we had actually snow yesterday, so it's really cold. Uh, uh, it was like in the, the low 30s overnight. Um, I have the hangar door closed, same as yesterday. Um, I'm just working in here. Every once in a while, I put a heat on uh, just to warm it up a little bit. But today I got the uh, aileron and uh, flap, the aileron and flap done, uh, get the cover off. So this is the flap here, uh, looks pretty good. Um, so I'm happy about this place looks. It's really windy outside, uh, today is not a good day to go flying. So. fittings and on this side here you can see how well you can see then there's my aileron the aileron we ever covered this before used quite a bit of filler for some reason um, in some spots um, I'm not sure why they, uh, I mean, why they put so many dings in it. Uh, it's uh, here, and I know this especially on the underside of the trailing edge. There are some spots where they really used a lot of filler. And then the very outboard side of the trailing edge. Uh, that needs to be cleaned up and painted. And then uh, well, there are some reports uh, that actually uh, there's some corrosion on, on the spars because of uh, dissimilar metal. So I will have to take these out here, uh, drill rivets out and then take the, f the fittings off because they're metal fittings uh, sitting against an aluminum spar. So I want to see what's going, if there's anything going on there, but if not, then uh, just prime, prime and paint and put everything back together. And uh, so there's not much work on the ailerons. So that's already a good, good thing. So now the next thing is, uh, like this is the outboard aileron attachment fitting. And uh, it looks generally in good shape, but there's, a, there's some light, corrosion inside here um, not really that much uh, and here this is the uh, the inboard aileron attachment again uh, just a little bit uh, surface rust and then uh, this is for the outboard flap looks okay and then uh, the inboard flap. Uh, let me rotate the wing here quick. So the inboard flap attachment is actually right here. Um, so I also want to take that out so I can prime it and paint it up. And then uh, I also want to do the um, um, strut 
attachment fittings on both sides. So for that actually uh, a friend will come by here later and uh, help me to take the wing off the rotation fixture because that's where what the the strut fittings are attached to right now and then I'm going to put the wing on sawhorse so I can take this uh, these fittings off. Then get them, I'm going to prime them, paint them, put them back on and then there's not that much to fix on the wing. Um, so hopefully I start re recovering it soon because um, I still need to do the tank and get that back in. I got four of the aileron flap attachments uh, brackets out. Um, so they're laying over here now. So ready to be cleaned up, primed and painted. So I drilled out the rivets. Um, this one here I can't get to because the loop of the rotation fixture prevents me from getting my drill in here. So, but since a friend will come here in a 20 minutes or so to help me putting the wing on saw horses, I just gonna drill them out as soon after he gets here or after we get the uh, wing on the saw horses. Um, but other than that, got everything out and look forward to getting back in. Good morning. So today is Wednesday. Um, just uh, last Saturday we took the wing off and I'm making good progress here. So yesterday I took uh, the attachment for the flaps and ailerons off, uh, for the flap and aileron, except uh, the inboard uh, aileron bracket um, because I just couldn't get to the rivet when it was uh, the, um, in, on the wing rotation fixture, there's two rivets here. So these are the only things I still have to drill out. And then this is ready to come out here. And then uh, the reason why I put it on saw horses was because I want to take the uh, wing strut attachments off here. Because they have just a little bit light corrosion on it. Um, Again, it's not much, but since I have the wing open anyway, so I may as well take those out, so here and on the other side. Um, and that's the task for today. Um, and then I pray, uh, take everything home, um, uh, all the fittings, and uh, by then hopefully the fuel tank is uh, welded up, uh, so I can also prime and paint that. And put fittings back on um, and after that uh, uh, I can really just do the final touch-ups on the on the wing I have to square it um, since I took the uh, the brace wires off uh, so I just want to make sure it's still square uh, all the base are square so uh, right now I only I took one set of brace wires out here where the where the tank was but I have to also loosen this set of wires here so then I basically have all the brace wires off so I do uh, make I have to make sure that the wing is still square after I put them back on and then I'm getting close to actually to recover this thing already so so let's see how it goes And I got, the, <coughs> got all the fittings out, but I ended up actually loosening or taking off the uh, leading edge of the wing because uh, I just couldn't get to, uh, to the bolts here on this side of the, uh, 
of the spa so sometimes it's better to just bite the bullet and take extra stuff off and it makes it so much easier to actually work on it so it was after all not that big of a deal um, got everything on or off I should say so um, the fittings itself are actually not that bad shape uh, just a slight corrosion uh, surface rust on it uh, just like the other ones but since I have the wing open I may as well just uh, give them a good clean give them some primer and then uh, ready to install again so so they're all out and I also can clean up in the wing uh, or in the leading edge here um, found some more oops, uh, they call mud dubbers uh, these critters are just everywhere um, so anyhow so I can clean this out here um, also when you open this up uh, you find stuff that really shouldn't be like here this wire apparently was just laying here and it just keeps on um, rubbing and vibrating so and that's not correct so um, while I have this open here of course I can straighten all this out uh, also these uh, wire ties uh, the tie wraps they are so old uh, I mean you hardly touch them and they break so um, so I give this a good inspection here uh, change all the stuff that needs to be changed and then I can actually uh, hopefully covering soon um, and put everything back together so so here are the other attachments um, this is the uh, the rear in the rear spa the rear bracket again just a little bit surface stuff on it um, this is uh, for the uh, inboard flap so I can clean this all up here get all this dirt that has collected over the years um, uh, outboard flap um, inboard aileron that actually kind of looks the worst but maybe it's just even dirt in there but uh, especially down here so can, can do all that um, and get it all done to put it back in so I think that's it for today.